Hello everyone. So today we are going to cover another interesting problem, score of parenthesis. So understanding the problem statement is very important for the solution today. So let's get into the problem statement. We are given an input of a string, which is a balanced parenthesis, and we have to return the score of the given parenthesis. So how can we score it? So open braces and close braces has a score of 1. A, B has score A plus B and within a bracket if there is a A then which means 2 into A is the score. So let's, let's understand this with an example. Let's start with the simplest example that is one open and one closed parenthesis which is going to have the score of 1. So let's expand it with one more level. Considering the level inside the normal parenthesis as A, so they said if you are considering a parenthesis as A, then the score is going to be 2 into A, which is the score of one open closed parenthesis is going to be 1. So 2 into 1 is going to be 2. Let's expand it furthermore to one more level. So now consider the last open and last closed parenthesis as one set and in between whatever is left is going to be our A. So it is going to be 2 into A. So let's expand A separately. It is going to be one open parenthesis and close parenthesis. Outside that one more level is there. So if you consider the score of this is 1. And it is going to be 2 into 1, which is 2. So the overall score of A is 2. So now 2 into 2 is going to give us 4. Further, if you want to expand one more level, it is going to be 2 into, this is our A. So we have calculated our A in previous step which is 4, so 2 into 4 it is going to be 8. So this is how our parentheses are going to work. So in this case if you consider, if you increase one more level, as every level goes up, it is going to double the value. That is if it is a only one level deep, then the value is equal to 2 power 0. And if it is two level deep, the value is going to be 2 power 1. Similarly, if it is 3 level deep, it is going to be 2 power 2 and 4 level deep is going to be 2 power 3. We are going to use this technique to get to our solution. But there are different cases. Let's see such cases now. Consider the third example given in the problem statement, which is actually there is two levels and one more extra level and then open parenthesis and a close parenthesis. Consider this, it is our open parenthesis and close parenthesis thing and in between that there is one part which we can name as A and there is one more part which we can name as B. So we saw if there is an AB then the score is going to be A plus B. And Something within the bracket, if it is A, then it is going to be 2 into A. In this case, here we have something within the bracket. Consider the whole thing as our C. So it is going to be 2 into C, where our C is actually AB. So it is going to be A plus B. So in this case, the overall score is going to be 2 into A plus B. So what is our A here? A is just a simple open bracket and close bracket. So our score of A is going to be 1 plus what is our B here? It is a simple open close braces within a bracket. So the score of this is going to be 1 and the overall score of B is going to be 2 into 1 which is 2. So 2 plus 1 it is going to be 2 into 3, 6 finally. So in this case you can calculate the depth here and calculate this separately. So how are we overall going to approach this? As we saw, 
square of the valid parenthesis are going to be 2 power depth. So what is the depth here? If we iterate through the open brackets, it is goes to 1, 2, 3, 3 levels. Since it is a simple open and closed braces, its score is going to be 1. So it is of depth 2. So 2 power 2 is going to give us the output. So we are going to have a variable balance to keep track of how many open brackets we encounter. So start citrating this bracket. The first bracket is going to be an open bracket. So we are adding 1 to our balance. So again, the second bracket is going to be one more open bracket. So we are going to add one more. And third is again open bracket. So we are going to add one more. So overall, we have three open brackets. So once we encounter a closed bracket, we are going to decrement balance. So now our balance is going to become two, which means we have two open brackets now. This balance says if it is a zero, then all open braces and closed braces are tallied. If it has some count, which means we just covered one closed braces, we still have two more closed braces to cover. The problem statement says the given string is definitely a balance or valid parenthesis. There won't be any disorder or less than or greater than brackets in a given string. Since it is balanced, once we reach the closed braces, we know we stopped our depth. Our depth ends, which means so far we have three. And once we encounter uh, closed braces, we made it to two. We decremented one. In this case, we have to calculate the score of this depth. So simply, we are going to calculate two power two, which is four. So this is going to be our output because all the other closed braces are going to be the closed braces only. There is no more levels. So let's understand this with another example. So now consider this example. Let's calculate our balance. Here our first parenthesis is open parenthesis. So our balance is 1. So now second parenthesis is again open parenthesis. So our balance is 2. The third parenthesis is a closed parenthesis. So we are going to balance it for our open parenthesis. So we completely cut off this and our balance is going to be 1. Since we have reached depth 1, we have to calculate our score. So here our score is going to be stored in the variable answer. So answer so far is going to be 2 power 1. Because the depth is 1, we calculate the score by 2 power 1. So it is going to be 2. So next moving on to our next character which is the open bracket. So our balance is going to be now because already the balance was 1 and we have reached one more level so balance is going to be 2. So now we are encountering the other open bracket so balance is going to be 3 and now we are at the depth we crossed 3 open brackets now we are crossing one closed bracket. So in this case we know our depth ends here. So what we have to do if it is a 3, if the depth is 3, then the output is going to be 2 power 2. That is depth minus 1. So once we encounter a closed bracket, we are going to decrement it by 1. So it becomes 2 and we calculate 2 power 2, which is 4. We are going to add with our answer. So far, our answer is 6. So next, we are going to see if there is any open brackets available. If there is open bracket, we are again going to increment our balance and calculate depth. If not, we are simply going to ignore. It is a closed bracket. Already we calculated the score for this depth, so we have nothing to do with our closed bracket. So moving on to our next closed bracket, it is again not going to do anything since we have already calculated the score. So yes, it is done. So yes, 6 is going to be our output and we are going to return 6. So this actually works in linear time since we iterate overall string only once and it actually works in constant space. As we don't need any extra space, we just use answer to calculate our output. So let's see how are we going to code it. So let's start by declaring the variable answer and balance. Now let's start iterating our string. So if my character is equal to open bracket, 
then we are going to increment the balance. If not, it is a close bracket, then we are going to decrement the balance. And once we decrement the balance, we have to calculate the score. And finally, return the answer. But there is one more check we have to do because once if our string is going to be this, once we encounter a close bracket, we will calculate the answer. Next time, again, we will be encountering a close bracket. Again, we encounter a close bracket. So every time, if it is not an open bracket, it is going to calculate the power to avoid that. For that, we have to check if our previous character is an open bracket. So I'm changing my iteration a little bit different with an iterator element. So here I'm checking if the previous character is equal to an open bracket then only calculate answer if not if it is a closed bracket it will not calculate answer so finally return answer so let's see So yes, our code runs in 0 millisecond, which is the fastest. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and subscribe. Thank you.